in terms of managing a huge number of employees, Along with their different work hours, work days, it gets inconvenient to keep track of them. Not knowing when who is available makes your productivity low. How about a schedule that can record employee names, shift timing, and availability precisely? Hello there, this is Fariha Tulbim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates, and VBA related answers. We will add records for availability for four employees. We will create an availability schedule like that, where name of the company, duration, calendar will be added. All these will be done discussing how to make an availability schedule in Excel. We will use Excel 365 for that. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Here we have added our title Employee Availability Schedule using cell B2 to I2. Now let's add some information. In B4 we will type our company name, the Washington Post. Now for address we can type it manually or we can just paste it from a dummy sheet. We have copied it using Ctrl C and we'll paste it here using Ctrl V. There we are. Now in E4, we will type duration and timing slots. So in E4, schedule start, schedule validity, which means how long till the schedule will continue duration in f4 let's add our schedule start time as 23 october 2023 and schedule validity till 27 october 2023 now we will add a mini calendar for that we need to go to developer tab if you don't have your developer tab you need to right click on your ribbon and get customize the ribbon from the excel options window we can see that the tabs are marked with check mark if your developer tab is like that you need to check mark on that and click on ok now you should have your developer tab on your screen from the add-ins group click on add-ins under the store tab let's type calendar on the search bar search and here mini calendar and date picker add continue as you can see we have our mini calendar here let's minimize its size like that and add it beside in this way now we can see that 23 october and 27 october this duration belongs to one week so let's add one week as duration since all the work days belong to one week here, let's increase the column width so that we can easily see our titles. Now, in B11, let's add title for our availability schedule. Employee names will be under this column, then shift duration, work type part-time or full-time finally availability now the availability will be added based on monday tuesday and we can just click on both of them and drag it till friday now let's add information for employee name shift duration and work type you can manually type it or copy it from another resource we have a dummy sheet from where we have copied this info for four employees and we'll paste it here using ctrl v there we are now our schedule is looking somewhat plain let's format them let's click on the company information select them go to home tab and from the alignment group Click on Merchant Center, not within center alignment. Now we can just use Format Painter and try it on all of them. 
As for our column headers, click on that and click on margin center. Use format painter to use the same format for these two headers as well. The availability will be for all these weekdays. Margin center. Let's put our company information within a box from the home tab under the font group. Click on borders drop down and choose outside border. Let's make all of them bold. Now it looks better, right? Now let's select E4 to F6, pressing on Ctrl, click on B11 to I16. Now from the font group, click on the borders drop down and choose all borders. For the headers here, press Ctrl to click our column headers as well. Let's go to the font group to change the font color to this one. And let's increase their font size, make them bold and center aligned. Let's change their alignment to left alignment. Now our schedule template is ready. Now if we type yes here and let's just drag it till all the cells. Now here if we press no, we can see that the employees within these days are not available. But it would have been helpful for us if the no's would be highlighted in some other ways. Let's try a VBA code to highlight these no's, even update the cell format every time we type no. For that, we need to go to developer tab to select Visual Basic from code group or we can just go along with Alter F11. As we can see, we have our Visual Basic application window or VBA window. Let's increase that. Our sheet name is process. So this is our sheet. Double clicking on it will open an event for our worksheet. Note that this event will only be applicable for this worksheet. Now we want to add red color for all the no's. Let's try a code for that. Here click on worksheet and from this drop down click on change. Let's delete that part since we won't be needing that. Here we can see that our private sub is declared here by default and end of the code is also added by default. Let's add our code in between. If L case target dot value closing parenthesis equals no then here we want to change our target value to lowercase which is why we have added no in lowercase. If the target value matches with no, then it will add red color for our target value. So target interior dot color index tab equals three, which is for red color. For your convenience, we are adding red color as comment. Target value is not equals to no, then else Target interior color index will be XL none, which is no color. Let's end the if statement. Now, as we complete writing our code, we don't need to save it or run it individually. If we close it and here, let's type no over that. We can see that it's highlighted with red color. Even if we change the yes to no, we can see that changes as well. Now let's try converting no to yes. Magic, right? The no's in red color field is changed into yes. Now without noticing very carefully, we can see that which employees are available for which days or not. This helps if we want to change unavailability to availability as well. Same goes for availability to unavailability. Using this elaborate steps, you can also make an availability schedule in Excel. You can practice this with the help of Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you could do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. You can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. 
Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.